So, you, you want to say hello? No, hmm. I don't do that. What do you want to say? Hello? Hi? Aren't you rich? Throwing H's around wherever possible. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? I'm trying to scale down and just say hello. Hi, thanks for being here. Or I. Uh, no. Whatever. <laughs> Um, so everything I just told you about DV Mark and Mark Base, do you want to tell these people? Did you uh, did you did you actually pay attention yes, to what I, I just told attention. you? Okay, fine then. Okay. Um, Try and I just correct you, which is something I love to do. I know you're mean. Um, well, we got a box here from D DV Mark, as you can see, and I wonder what that stands for. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yes, I did. I did hear that part. I just didn't remember it. No, I don't know. You don't. I know. actually don't know. Didn't you say so? I know it's it's the guitar company of Mark Bass, but um, oh. it could be okay, D but you D DV know what the could TV be. Stands for. No, I don't think that's what it stands. for. You don't for. think that's what it stands for? No. Okay, I don't know. I think it might be something less dirty. Who knows? The Italians, they're dirty people. Who knows? But dirty in a good way. You know that on, on the scooters going like, ciao, bella. Uh, rrr, 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 rrr. Open this. You know? <laughs> going to Rome, going like on the, on the little Vespas, going like, ciao. <laughs> uh, yeah. You know? Okay. Isn't that what they do all day in Italy? How on earth is this? They are, um. That sucks. <laughs> did you tell them anything about this amp? No. No. Um, it's it's metal. It's a metal amp. Metal! <laughs> so the nice folk from Mark Bass, which is uh, uh, the bass company, uh, they have a guitar company for a few years now, and they're calling it DV Mark. And Mark Bass um, was one of the companies that uh, was one of the first that, that made the amps small and had digital power amps. I have no idea what that means or how that works, but they were super light. And the form factor was changed into kind of a half rack and then sometimes even flatter and even smaller. So full on bass amps with a lot of wattage that you could actually throw in your gig bag. And bass players had, had it good for quite a while because they had very, very powerful, good sounding bass amps. I've played a Mark bass amp uh, uh, a few times when I had to sub in some bands as a bass player. But we guitar players, we need the tubes, we need the big transformer sisters, transformeristas. Uh -huh. I don't know. Um, but the harshness, directity, and clarity, clarification of a transistor amp might sound good, or does, in metal. As Randall has proven, and um, so, yes, transistor is a cheaper way to get a sound happening, but we know for clean sounds, transistor rules, and for metal sounds, it can be very cool. Um, so, DV Mark has this very tiny amp, very affordable, clocks in it right now at $399, um, in a form factor that is very uncommon for guitar players. I mean, we like the boxes we like the big things and this thing i don't know exactly how big it is that's what she said but i think it could actually uh, fit pr possibly in a gig bag or in in a guitar we'll, we'll, it might uh, who knows we'll see um we're gonna rip it a bit yeah this is difficult these are the 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 staples of doom right here <laughs> Yeah, that's not dangerous at all. Absolutely not. Well, definitely solidly packaged. Holy crap, this is a big box. That's what he said. For <laughs> um, for a really tiny thing. That's what she said. Uh, uh, I'm, wait, said I'm, I'm, I'm stuck in my armpit here. Wait. Okay. Big ass power cable. What's that thing called? DV Mark, <laughs> little, little 250 M 
And there's actually a... We have to show that, it right here. That's cool. There's actually right here. There's actually a, 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 a... Oh, come on! At this point, it doesn't really matter what it sounds like, right? It's awesome. It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Who cares what it sounds like? <laughs> so, this is really tiny, with big nipples, and, um... Um... We have a, a push button here, a push, but bu a push button, for clean and lead, input, there's a plasticky kind of panel, um, two very clearly separated in color uh, channels, a built-in reverb, foot switch, which is not included as far as I can see, but that's I would yeah. assume that's probably for reverb on, off, and channel. <clears throat> and here's what's interesting. Uh, there's a ventilator, what's that thing called? A fan. fan. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a metal fan. <laughs> he's he's a small metal fan. <laughs> did, did you know that joke? What do you what what music do wind turbines listen to? They're huge metal fans. Ha ha ha. And huge metal fans. Metal it's fan. really funny. Um yeah. Yeah. So here's what I already saw in the pictures which is weird. It has a speak on out. Yes, it also has a uh, uh, a quarter inch out. But it has a speak on out, which is again, on bass amps, we know and love this, the big speak on plug. On a guitar amp, it's, I would say, unheard of. Now, what guitar cab has a speak on in? None that I know of, so I thought maybe the DV Mark cabs use speak on. But they don't. They don't. So I have no idea why this has a speak on out. The suspicion I had was it has a speaker not because they're probably using the same chassis that they're using for their base, uh, base, amps. base amps. So it might just have the hole there, so they said, oh, let's just throw in the speaker out. But we checked all the Mark Base uh, base heads, thank you, um, and um, we couldn't find one that had the same layout, so that's not it. So it's a mystery. No idea why, they t why there's a speaker out. I technically don't care because we have the normal quarter inch out and um, the cabs take quarter inch in. So I don't know why. Um, we have a, a serial effects loop and a pre out. So that looks like a line out. We have to see if that's compensated out, meaning um, you can go directly into an interface and it has a speaker simulation, or maybe you have to go through a speaker simulation or impulse response loader. She has no idea what I'm talking about. No. No. We'll, we'll learn about this. explain later. Yeah, I'll explain later. This is relatively light. I love it. Uh, does it fit in the front of a gig bag? It has to be a big ass gig bag. Yeah. Now, this. But you can take like an extra handbag. A black one, preferably. A handbag. <laughs> I would do that. You should carry around your metal amp in a little handbag. That would be so awesome. <laughs> you show up to a gig like, la, 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 in your handbag. That would be, that would, would be cool. <clears throat> would it be bedazzled? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it would be bedazzled with a little skull on it, right? Yes. And then you no, take... Actually, I don't own a bag like that. I should. And then you take out your little little two, 250 MDV mark, and then you metal the shit out of it. That would be cool. That would be really awesome. Right? <laughs> um, it would be cool if they actually made a little soft case for it that clips onto your gig bag with little plastic clips. Or you clips. can also just put it in your handbag. Who has a handbag? Okay, but what? how many of these guys do you think just lifted their hand? <laughs> um, three. Three? Yeah. Comment, please, <laughs> on that if you're a man that has... Well, of course, a bedazzled handbag. Yes. If you don't know what bedazzled is, please look it up. I don't know why <laughs> I know that. <clears throat> but for the three guys with a handbag, that's pretty cool. <laughs> I mean, we're gonna we're gonna we're good. gonna check this out, and um, we're gonna go and uh, of course make a full on review of this with the produced track and everything, and we're gonna work on that probably next week. So uh, thanks, DB Mark, for sending that over. Thank you, Uli. Uh, We'll see if it's any good. It's definitely affordable at $3.99. It has definitely a totally different approach 
as far as shape goes. And I think it could be very cool, unless you're the guy who wants a big ass box on top of his cap. It's too much. <laughs> See you, people. Bye.